everybody, this is Todd. Today I'm recording a video that will teach you the best tips and tricks every Warcraft 3 player should know. First instance is here, I have a base that's entirely closed. And I'm gonna wanna set a double rally points outside of my base to make sure that the hero comes here and then heads in this direction. If I would just rally anywhere on the map, there is a chance my hero could come out here on the inside. I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna right click here. And as you can see on the keyboard, I'm keeping shift pressed and I'm gonna right click here. And this creates a double rally points. So my hero should come out here on this side safely on the outside of my wall and then head in this direction. And this can be done on most maps and most situations if you ever have to close your base. Let's say like against, you know, undead, against orcs sometimes you'll want to close your base. This makes it really safe for your hero to come on the outside. Health mirror, when you're going mass hunts, sometimes you're gonna wanna go for a, a wall off like this to avoid for the opponent to get on top of your tree and kill it quickly with the bouncing attacks. So, as you can see, this is a perfect wall. Hunts can't go in and out on either sides. So you're gonna wanna right click here and then press shift on the keyboards and then right click on your hero. And now the any units that comes out, they're gonna come out right here and then head to your hero. So you've avoided ever getting stuck with anything. No matter where you are on the map. How to pull the aggro away from whatever units being attacked by the creeps. To do that, if you're doing, in particular, some of the tough camps, I think this mostly concerns humans and undead usually, but uh, to be honest, orc as well when they're creeping. So let's see. These guys taking a lot of damage. Or like, I want to save my water elemental. I'm going to attack my footmen for like half a second. And before the attack can go off, the creeps are going to start targeting whatever else are targeted. This can help you preserve a lot of hit points on your units by just pulling the aggro like this. Just attack your unit for a second like this. A click and then just before the attack goes through, you move the units or you press S or you press H for hold position. And that way you'll keep everything healthy. You can see Sheik creeping and he's about to lose that ghoul. He's gonna target his own beetle for just half a second before the hit goes off. He stops that so as to not hit his friendly units and then he saved that cool thanks to that. Without having to just pull it back. So it's really nice to be able to do that. Okay, so the next trick is the Zeppelin quick unload trick. When you load up a Zeppelin, it's always pretty fast. Pay attention to which spots loads first and unloads last. So you see, it's in the top left every time. So if you wanna very quickly unload a Zeppelin, if you're dropping your opponent's base, and you wanna kill some workers or harass them, you're gonna put the cursor here and then just spam this hotkey. Like this, see? So you, un you unload very fast by doing this and you can even move at the same time. And this makes it so much more efficient compared to like, let's say if you wanna unload and then you do the unload the hotkey and you click here, see? The difference, it's extremely slow. Hotkey spam trick. If you hold down a button, it's gonna have the same effect as if you would click many times the hotkey. So I'm gonna hold down A and then look at my arc mage. It started pretty much immediately as soon as it could here. And this works for pretty much anything that you need to produce or buy in the game. I'm gonna do it for the footman now again so you can see, look at the keyboard on the right side. I'm holding down F and immediately my footman started. So instead of just pressing the same hotkey repeatedly, you can just hold down buttons like this and start your stuff quicker than usual, most likely. So here you can see this Troll Berserker will be available at 19 o'clock. And if I want to make sure I get it, I'm just going to hold down the B key. And then as soon as it's available, you can hear the sound of the repeat hotkey. As soon as it's available, now I grab it. And if the opponent had been there and then we're both doing the same thing, then usually the one that has the lowest ping will get it. But it, usually if you're on your side of the map, you'll have control of this building and it's very important to make sure that you secure this. So. It's a very important trick to know to make sure you don't get it late at all by being there and spamming at the right time. The mana pendant drop, which also works with hit point items, but it's mostly interesting when you're playing with mana. So if I use all my mana pool and then I use the mana potion, I would get 125 mana back. But now, instead of 125, I'm going to get more by dropping the pendant of energy. So look at this. I use the clap. I have zero mana. I drop the pendant. Use this. And you see, instead of getting 125, I got 180 back in total. So this is a nice little trick you can use 
It also works if you play Night Elf and you're at home and using Moonwells. You should be dropping any item that gives you extra mana or hit points in order to regain even more and then picking them back up after you use. This will also work with like a health potion if you add uh, Periapt of Vitality, for example. All right, I'm gonna show you how to use multiple ones of these tips and tricks in a row with just my starting build order and creep routes here on Last Refuge. If you want to creep a mercenary camp up first as human. So it's gonna be the hotkey spam up first to start my hero and my footman. Then there's going to be the double rally point to make sure I don't get stuck inside. And then there's going to be the creep pull aggro uh, to make sure I save my first water elemental for as long as possible for uh, like some additional hits basically. To just try and min max every single bit of micro on that uh, mercenary camp. It can be important to keep that alive just for the extra damage. You don't want it to die like straight away basically. You'll see. So now I set up the Doro Rally points right over here. I made a tutorial on how to creep these camps as human. I'm gonna, soon gonna make one for Night Elf. So that's where you would send it as human. Send the first foot here, here in position for the pull. And then now you pay attention when this is at 95% is when you'll send the militia. Send the militia, and then usually when Archmage is out, I'll select Water Elemental, but I won't summon one. One, two, three, then I'll do the pull. So see, I have a lot of little tricks of my own like this to try and optimize everything, basically. Just from trying it out myself and trying to figure out what the best way was to do all of these camps, eventually you figure it out. Well, sadly, I got ensnared here, not the end of the world. We go for the big one immediately after because it's the one that does the most damage. And then now, as this first water elemental will be about to die in a sec, you can pull the aggro from him. It turns out they attacked my peasants a bunch more than perhaps they should have here. So, see, I didn't have to do it immediately, but now I did it. I like doing this one next because there is no poison. And then look, this guy is still alive and kicking and he's been hitting the whole time that I was doing this camp here. So it's definitely lasted a very long time. Thank you for watching. That's it for my tutorial of best tips and tricks that every Warcraft 3 player should know. Please like, comment and subscribe and let me know which tutorials you would like to see next. I got uh, some planned out, but I'm always open to ideas. See you guys very soon.